Yes, thanks everyone for uh, the comments that have ever come on my submarines videos. Submarines, truly a fantastic thing. One of the most amazing technologies of the 20th century. I mean, they came from World War I and really right back to the turtle in the uh, War of Independence. And then, of course, there was some famous ones in the Civil War. And now, of course, people wondered why I was doing submarines because I think they're going to come into play here in the next while. I thought of the movie Hunt for Red October. And you can see the world's second largest submarine forces are NK. And here is the launch of a missile by an nk -er. And we'll just uh, have a quick look at this, shall we? We'll just see this go up here. Whoa, you see that now? That was pretty amazing. Now that went sideways. They, they call these missiles the sidewinders. Let's just uh, watch this in a bit of slow-mo. It's amazing how these come up out of water. Of course, you'd know how hard it is to push things through water, but not for North Korean and US and British tridents too. Incredible technology those three countries have. Here we go, look. See the sidewinder idea? Look, going sideways. Incredible. The technology involved there, look. Whoa. And they're all happy here. Oh, look, he's got a big blast of water in the background there of him. The water stays up for a while, doesn't it? It was an iceberg. It must be an iceberg. Isn't that odd now? Kim Yong. There's his submarine. Here we go, we'll just have a little look at that again. There he is. Here she is from here. Look. Sideways. Isn't that just incredible technology if you've ever seen it? I just can't explain that to you other than wow. What they say things have the wow factor. Well there is certainly a wow factor. Uh, yesterday I made a video about my blog and lo and behold I had a few people go over there and have a look. Usually doesn't get too many views this blog even though it's been there for years. You know, usually this is about the numbers, five fours in a whole week, of course. So it's only, only a few views, really, for how long I've been doing things on there. It nearly makes you think, why bother, you know? But a few people have had some benefit, and certainly uh, this Fatima one and the JA, Jack Ace, is definitely an interesting idea. And, of course, I've made a video about that anyway. And, of course, somebody will eventually get onto the submarine idea. I'm hoping a few people uh, might look at this. Histros, video, please, Submarino. And I could ask a few others if they like. Anyone. Anyone want to do that one? Maybe they can even say, hey, Jungle gave me the idea. Because certainly, you can only just look at this. Two years. Look, 800. Two years, 129,000. Isn't that interesting now, eh? Two years. So you can see, uh, obviously, there's something I'm doing here they're not really liking compared to this one, or else this wouldn't be like this now, would it now? But this is like it with everything I do, of course, even with this sub thing. So anyway, on we go, but I just sort of show you that just for a laugh. And I get real mean people on here. I'd love to see those mean people face to face, and they can be mean. Right to my face. But of course, they're keyboard warriors. But that should just show you uh, where the best channels are. Because uh, obviously, I've done something here. But, uh, but this one's okay. It must be a difference in the quality here. This one must be so much better. Even though it's only a year old. Isn't that strange now? But there, this is like on so many things. It is enough to, you know, make somebody think, God. Oh, well, here we go again. And here we are waving, 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 waving. Waving. Oh, he's got the monoculars. They weren't a very high power. Like, oh, off we go. Oh. Now, isn't that nice? Look at that. This was once going straight up and not sideways. This is not the sidewinder model. There it is. There's actually one of these submarines in North Korea up on uh, the shoreline and it's been all restored and you can actually go in and have a look at it. Quite incredible. 
Yes, here's one of these submarines here up on uh, the dry land just adjacent to the ocean. And it's got quite a few interesting uh, hatches. One on this side, one on the other, and one halfway down the body. And that's where you go up these stairs. Oh, it's on the back here. So you go up these, walk through. So maybe they cut these out later because I thought they only ever come in the top. Of course, here's the white, the white seven idea. And uh, certainly you get a bit of a look at these sort of things on the sides of here. But they don't appear to have an up and a down. So it's a pretty basic submarine, this one. It just sort of goes along, obviously. And you can see where they're all joined here. Yeah, it's all joined together. And as we know, with the pressure of the ocean, they have to be super strong, amazing joins indeed. Oh, yes, is it moving? I don't know, this video. Oh, here we are. There's the wind. Oh, now, here's where you go up. Look, here's it. See? It's like an aeroplane. Let's just uh, take that sound out because that's annoying. I'm not sure what these yellow things are here. Oh, it's a little hat. Gee, they're little. I thought that before. I realised they are hats, but they look a bit little, don't they? For little headed people. Ooh. So just for Koreans, look, a few missing there. So you need a hard hat to go in and uh, walk through, just in case you bump your head, no doubt. Look, there's a the thing. Uh, I can't see any up and down on that one. I see only the rear ones. And you can see, just like an aeroplane. A rubber seal here. This looks, look, to me, the way this is cut out, like there was always an entrance here, but I might be wrong. Because look, these things look very well attached. So this is what they do have on their submarine side doors. Possible reef break here. Not working today. Looks a bit windy. Let's have a bit of a look at the ocean there. Now he's going inside. That looks like a speaker or a washing machine. I'm not sure. Let's see some interesting things here inside the machine. The fantastic. North Korean submarine. So you see, people who doubt submarines, here's one. You can walk through yourself and look at the up to the minute state of the art pressure gauges here. Just absolutely fantastic. And all nicely painted up. And here's the motors. It's like with the Briggs and Stratton, somebody said, "Hey, look, looks looks like something you do see on a on a big Briggs and Stratton, not big air intake." And of course, they are diesel electric, and they uh, charge their batteries through the diesel. And uh, that looks like a fuel thing, doesn't it? They charge their batteries through the diesel, and then they can go down for a few days. It says. Uh, nothing on the American ones, which, you know, go down for a year, don't they? 25 years, one said it could operate. This looks like it's the thing through to the propeller. Not a very big shaft, is it? Uh, that's okay, seeing their shaft in this. Look, and here's the door into the motor room. And there's a few dings and dimples, and you can see the joins. And you can see this seal here with the rubber seal. This is going to be fantastic down at a couple of hundred feet down, no doubt. 12,000 pounds per square foot pressure. Look, there's a few joins, but they're very well sealed up. Incredible welders to North Koreans that they can weld this up here. State of the art, definitely. One of the great submarine nations. There she is. Ah, uh, look, see? Here's your, your tails here. You can see this one looks like it moves. Uh, this one, this must be the thing that gives it all the direction. Because that's what they do. They take in so much water, don't forget, until they get below the sea. And then they can go anywhere they like just by using the motor and forcing itself down. And if you and me did it, of course, we'd come back up to the level that we had taken the water in of wherever the buoyancy mark was on that. But not with the military. There's super something going on here where they can do what they like with this. It's just advanced technology. That's all you can imagine and put it down to. Just like we see here. Look at this little bit here. This one joins to this. So this is like an aeroplane wing. This doesn't look like it's going anywhere. This must be the flap here. The last of the great flappers. Something's attached here. 
I love these welds. Incredible welding, North Korean style. And here's something here that looks like lifts up. Again, Super Seal. They, uh, in Australia, we have a company called Sellies, and they make Celastic, and they're the champions of Celastic. No doubt they probably have a contract here to make Super Seals. Because uh, Sellies are one of the best, that is for certain. And I'm sure, look, aha, nice pattern here on the ground. And ah, yes, that's the yellow hat you can see. So that's what you do, you see. You can go up here, see this manta ray looking thing here. It must be just the back part goes up and down, even though it looks fully attached there. But it must be some secret technology that they're just not telling us here. But it's certainly something to be really, uh, really wary of. Because North Korea's super submarines with super tech. 777. Yes, yeah, 70 submarines. 70 submarines and some are green. Well, definitely in the sea of green, this would be a definite advantage over a grey sub. And I can see these guys are having a time of their life here up in the uh, tower. We're not really having a video of this one. Too secret. Second largest submarine fleet in numbers in the world is this one. And I love these little window things along here. Certainly, it would be better to be in a sub that you can uh, look out. All the guys are quite happy here, as you can see, when we come along here. Pretty all these writings here. I'd like you to be able to see all the uh, happy men on the deck here, but you'll see them there a little bit. Look, there's one bit here where they're all... Oh, look, it's Romeo. Romeo, Romeo. R-O. Roman. 20... Our, uh, thing and then they've got the Yono Okos, Yoko Ono class midgets. Here they are, look, they're all doing the wave, the Mexican wave. Hello, Kim Jong. This tower looks a bit different to some of the others, you know, when you look at this tower here. Definitely different types of submarines, different towers. But doesn't stop the men dancing. And look, they've got a little side hatch in here, because, you, you know, otherwise they'd have to climb in here. Now, I love some subs have little windows and some don't. I'd prefer to be in the one with the window myself. I think you get rather claustrophobic being all uh, shut in and away for like 72 days on the American submarine. So thanks for that and uh, go and check my blog out if you can. And uh, make a comment even over there, it'd be nice because uh, it's definitely... Not very well loved, that blog, for all the years it's been up and all the great information that's been on there. But then, obviously, I'm not in the crew, in the club, as you saw from the 800 views compared to 100 and something thousand views. And mine's been there two years. Isn't that bizarre?